Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing a wedding recap video where we just go throughout the day and talk about things that happened and just kind of like a debrief of it all. Yeah, I think we just kind of wanted to relive the day with you a little bit. I also thought this would be fun because we've had a lot of more new subscribers. So well, many. I mean, we've only had this channel for what, like six months? And we have been married for a year and a half, so it feels like it's been a while since we've been married, even though it hasn't been really that long in the big scheme of things, but obviously we didn't have this channel when we did get married. So and we thought this would be a fun way for our subscribers to kind of see what that season of our life looked like. To start off, we'd love to thank our parents and our families who were in the wedding, but all around the wedding and supportive of us in mm -hmm. every way. Most of my family were groomsmen. My parents were very generous and they provided for our wedding, they paid for it all, and my mom was very helpful with helping me plan things and think through things that I wouldn't necessarily have thought of without her bringing them up. And your parents as well did a really good job with the rehearsal dinner mm -hmm. and being very sweet and very thoughtful. They went into a lot of work to make it special for us and so we're very grateful to them yeah. as well. Traditionally, the bride's parents take care of the wedding and the groom's mm -hmm. parents take care of the rehearsal, and that's pretty much how we've always done it um, yeah. in our families, I feel like. Yeah, both sides took their duties very seriously. <laughs> yeah. um, in a very sweet way. Yeah, for sure. On to the details of the wedding day, which started very early in the morning. I picked up Allie from her house super early, mm -hmm. and because I think the schedule was to have her there at eight. I remember like rolling out of bed, like, oh my goodness. But it was really nice. We got some time alone before the craziness of the wedding. I had not seen the venue yet. Mm -hmm. So we kind of went just as the sun was rising and it was an outdoor venue in a beautiful kind of farm area where this, whoever owned it, they set up the whole area just to be a wedding venue. So yeah, it's beautiful it. buildings and a lake and mm -hmm. a fountain. Yeah, there was the place where the, the outdoor wedding was going to take place with stones for the floor. And then there was two huge arches, wooden arches on either side of where like the congregation would sit. We had those arches with, wrapped with greenery and it just was, looked really pretty. And it was all set up by the time we got there in the morning. So we were able mm -hmm. to kind of walk around it and be like, oh wow, we're getting married here. It was so nice it was to see fun. it in the cool of the morning because mm -hmm. it was an August day in Alabama. Yeah, so our wedding was on August 7th. <laughs> so. By midday, it was pretty warm. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, kind of walked through that for like 30 minutes and talked and prayed. And then um, I left her there as the other girls started to show up to get ready. Mm -hmm. And I headed off um, to go hang out with the groomsmen. And we didn't really like, you know how it is, girls take forever to get ready and guys just yeah. kind of like, you know, throw things together. So I had most of the morning, we like played Carcassonne at somebody's house and just had fun. Yeah, because the wedding wasn't actually till 5 p.m. Yeah. So we had to, the girls chill. had to be there, or I had to be there at eight, and I think most of the other girls did as well. There's another house on the venue as well where the bridesmaids were getting ready. And then there was the reception venue where, which had an upstairs area for the groomsmen to get ready. So there were two separate buildings and we had someone doing hair and makeup. And so that whole process was getting started and I had eight bridesmaids. So it was kind of a lot of people to kind of run through the process and get everyone ready. The bride's house was really nice because it had different rooms and there was plenty of space for everyone to spread there out. There was a kitchen. Yeah. With food. There was lots of food, drinks. We, we kept going over there to raid the fridge for like yeah. waters. It was a really sweet setup and I just remember that time was just relaxed, spent hanging out with the girls and each of my bridesmaids was so supportive and encouraging to me during that time and we just got to visit and catch up and talk about just life. It, it did seem like a long time though because we were there so early and the wedding was until five. But I think we started taking pictures around noon or one mm -hmm. with like our first look pictures and then our like bridal party pictures and all that because we wanted to get those done with before the ceremony so we could spend more time with our guests. Mm -hmm. The guys, were we all arrived at like 12, 30 or one or something mm -hmm. for the for the photos. And I think, you know, we did like the, put the boutonniere on and then we all went out and did the, all the groomsmen. After we got ready in the bride's room, hair and makeup was all done. I put on my dress and then I did like a first look with the bridesmaids and then we I did a first look with my dad and that was really sweet it was fun because it was kind of like a moment with both of my parents after I did the first look with dad the mom came out there and we both had a time to like visit and just um spend some time together before the ceremony and then after that we did our first look together yeah 
And then we did a couple's Out portraits. By the lake. Yes. And did photos of that and everything. Yeah. Which is fun. Well, obviously, we'd already seen each other that morning, but that was our first well, time. I mean, that I don't think that's the point. Because obviously, it's not like couples like go a week without seeing each other before they do the first look. Like, well, you seeing each other in the morning or seeing each yeah. other the night before. It's more about, I think, just seeing yeah. the bride in her dress. And we did decide to do a first look versus him seeing me for the first time coming down the aisle. Yeah. It would have um, been a long day of waiting. It's, well, it's, it's really because logistically. Well, no, no, yeah, I do remember why. There was also why we did the five o'clock wedding, wedding time was because we wanted to get all, almost all the photos besides mm -hmm. the family photos done yeah. before yeah. so that we could spend as much time with the guests as possible. Yeah, we did the first look, so then we were able to do all the bridal party pictures, mm -hmm. and then we did our couple's portraits. And that went by pretty fast. Yeah. Because I think we were done, and then we went and waited again for, like, the actual time of the wedding. Yeah, we went and hung out with the girls. I guess the guys and the girls, we all, we had all taken up most of our photos. Yeah. We're just kind of, like, eating some of the food, relaxing, having good conversation. And one of my groomsmen, my youngest brother, was sick with COVID, and he wasn't able to be there. So we FaceTimed him, yes. and that was really sweet. Yeah. Um, that was very sweet. He told us congratulations. I'm super glad to do that. He told us he was happy for us and all that. It was just sad because he mm -hmm. wasn't feeling good. So the actual ceremony kind we of- We went up to the reception venue, yep. which is where we were gonna wait before we walked down to the green, which mm -hmm. is where we were actually gonna, the ceremony was gonna occur. And at that point, we were starting to hear rumors of like thunderstorms and rain coming in. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it had been beautiful most of the day. Well, all of the day, really. Mm -hmm. There was no rain and it was super hot. Yeah. Like during the middle of the day and we thought like it'll burn off at 445 Which is like 15 minutes before the ceremony has started to drizzle or whatever And so they're like, okay, they came in and talked to us and they're like, We probably will delay the ceremony for like 15 minutes and see if it goes away and We're like, yeah, wedding coordinator said that and we're like, mm -hmm. whatever you say like she does this all the time Yeah, and then we waited. I think it ended up being like 530 and it was still pretty it was just wet. I don't know if it was, it was still raining. And so at like 5.15, all the guests were coming in and like gathering in the reception area. And everyone was already there. So I think they went out and grabbed all the benches and stuff from the ceremony area and pulled them inside to have the wedding inside. Yes. At that point. Yeah. And I just remember sitting there thinking, man, I want to be out there helping. Because <laughs> all these people were like, feeling. you could watch them like running down or running back up and people were getting soaked and stuff. And we had to be crazy. in hiding because we weren't, like, the guests were already arriving at that point. Yeah, it'd be kind of weird to, like, go down and be like, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, let me help grab this stuff. <laughs> Aren't you getting married? Like, yeah. yeah. But I, weird. all of my bridesmaids were so sweet, like, being like, are you okay? Because the wedding was getting delayed. I was ready for the ceremony to take place, but I was really okay with yeah, the change. Yeah, Allie, Allie did a really good job of not freaking out. I mean, I wasn't in the room the entire time, though our rooms were adjacent, so, mm -hmm. like, I could like see all the girls like gathering around. Allie was just cool and she would like come out and like watch all the guests and stuff and like wait. Yeah, because you could see him from upstairs. Because we were in like a balcony area above yeah. where the guests were gathering. And I so... didn't really wave because I wasn't trying to let people see me. Oh. Um, but I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it's, it's probably fine for you. But like we would come out and she was cool. And my bridesmaids, especially, were trying to take care of me and make sure I was feeling good and not anxious and all that, yeah. which was very kind. And they like prayed for me and it was very sweet. I just remember feeling like I, I didn't really care where it happened. If it was inside, outside. I wasn't just married to the idea of it being outside. I would have loved for it to have been at the gorgeous venue with the big arches and everything. It was. And it just was inside at the gorgeous venue. Yeah. It was really fun looking back on it because I was able to watch my wedding party go down the aisle from the balcony area where we were. Mm -hmm. And that was very special because I loved the song that we had a violinist play. It's a waltz and it's one of my favorites. It was really fun to hear that happen. Our wedding party walked down to it and I got to see it all from being right there. I for one was grateful that it wasn't outside it was so hot yeah it was very hot and i'm sure i guess i sweat it easy too. anyway but like yeah in a suit like yeah. when we were taking photos and stuff man yeah i'm glad that we did not have to do it and i think day. our guests were a lot more comfortable being inside as well another inside. cool thing when after the ceremony and it had rained out and everything i think the storm kind of came through right and then just as the sun was going down the the storm had gone away and so we finished the ceremony, we walk out, the photographer's like, come on out, we're gonna take 
couples photos mm -hmm. when the rain is gone and there's like a mist rising from everything and then the sun's like streaming through basically the photo's really good and it was really pretty right afterwards yes um kind of magical kind of feel and then the reception like michael said we went and took some sunset pictures we took our family pictures as well mm -hmm. and then we had had our wedding coordinator get some of our food from the reception because we there was dinner served we got our coordinator to bring some food upstairs so we could go ahead and eat separately. I think it's because we knew we were going to drive a ways to the honeymoon situation yeah. afterwards. Uh -huh. And so we needed like some time to rest after the ceremony before the drive. And so the thought was like, we'll eat, we'll get our strength, and then we'll go down and visit with people. Mm -hmm. And it was nice. It was super good food. Yeah. I just remember like feeling rushed. I was like, all right, ready to go now? We finished that, then we, I guess we let them know, like, yeah, we're done, so like they were gonna introduce us. So we like came yeah. down the stairs. Uh, oh Mr. no. Mr. Mrs. Michael Travers. I don't we really went to our first dance. I hardly remember it. It was kind of just like a blur. Yeah, then we went like straight into our first dance, I think. Mm -hmm. We what did. What was our first dance? Made oh. for you. Made for yeah, you. I was made for you. Yeah. It's a yeah. song that I'd like learned to play on the guitar. So it was sweet. our song. Yeah, but we did. you didn't play on the guitar. When we Not the for the. Dance, no, yeah. no, no. We're not that cheesy. Dad, we did Stars Film on Alabama. That we was did really fun. That was very dad, I feel like. It was perfect. And then you and your mom. Oh, yeah. That was it's fun. like a real, like, upbeat. Yeah. That was really and cute. I, I tried to. We did some swing dancing. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. It was really sweet, though. And then oh, at gosh. that point, we went straight to go cut the cake. Because we had everything lined up all together where we were going to get introduced do our first dance, do the, the, the other dances, and then straight to cut the cake. So at that point, we would be free to talk to people until it was time to leave, really. We didn't have anything else. Yeah. Which, I felt like that went really smoothly. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that we did it that way. Well, it's just kind of disjointed when you're like, okay, now you're free. Now I'll come back. Anyway, when you're trying to talk and, to people. The brownies at that ceremony were so good. So the brownies were supposed to be like the groom's cake. Oh, yeah. Because... Yeah. So there was like a whole they cascade. Were so I'll good. put a picture in, but there was like a whole like cascade of brownies. Yeah. Then there was a party. I think people were already doing that by the time yeah. we had even finished cutting the cake, which is what we wanted. Yeah. But then we wanted to like greet our guests and stuff. Mm -hmm. And well, really, people were sweet, but you know how they do. They just came over to us. So yeah, and we it wasn't to hard to like find people to talk to. Oh yeah, no. And we tried to go to the tables we tried as to well. Go around and thank you for coming. Yeah, and then we got out on the dance floor. You know, floor. like a cup of tea. Yeah, we got it on the dance floor for a bit. I remember that. I have a video of us doing Don't Stop Believing with a lot of our bridal party, which is really funny. Yeah, there's a there's a cute clip of like my nephews and niece dancing. Yeah, anyway. the flower girl and the ring bearer were like dancing together, which was really cute and just like spinning around. People took photo videos for us and stuff, so we got to kind of experience some of the stuff yeah. we didn't really see because we... One thing that I loved so much is that my sister took my my iPhone around and she just took clips of like the reception and getting ready, out decorating the car. She just took all these little random clips on my phone that I have now, which is really fun. Because we didn't have a videographer. We had a photographer, but we chose not to do a videographer just because it wasn't that high up on the list for me. And I wanted the memories to just be things that we remembered and the pictures. And that's just not something that we prioritize with our wedding budget either. I don't think it's bad to have like a wedding video or anything like that. It's just not something that we prioritize with our wedding budget. We danced for, I felt like a long time. I think like like 30 minutes before I was like ready to go. Yeah. I remember now, I was like, hey, are you ready now? No, I'm like dance a little bit more and stuff. Yeah, I think we Party were a bit more. supposed to leave at like nine. No, we probably left right at nine. I think we left right at, what we were supposed to. Yeah, I think we left right at nine. Which was good because we had a two hour drive that night to where we were staying. Which was nice. Yeah. Because we had a chance to kind of just talk and relax and go over the events of the day. That's basically our wedding in a nutshell. I feel like it's always like this with weddings where it's like, because of expectations, I just feel like there's a tendency for people to always be like, yeah, this wasn't, this thing wasn't my favorite. But I think we both tried to have a grateful attitude about it and think about the things that we really liked about it. Because at the end of the day, that's how you remember it. And I think that's what's most important. And that's honoring to like your your families that went into planning it and the people that, that really worked hard on doing it. Right, and I mean, we planned it. 
but yeah. Most of the decisions were ours. It was kind of fun to go back down memory lane a little bit and remember how sweet and special so much of the day was. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to hear more about how we started dating and the time before we got married, we've got another video that covers that, so be sure to check it out. So hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.